many medicines being advertised on TV. And don't they sound good until they get to the side effects? <laughs> and they say them so quickly in such an even tone, I'm not even sure what I heard. You'll have your hair forever. May cause your ass to bleed in public. <laughs> so many drug ads, I'm beginning to think there are things wrong with me that I've been previously unaware of. I saw an ad for female Viagra. I didn't know there was anything on me that should be standing up. <laughs> for Cialis so they explain why couples must use separate bathtubs. <laughs> Does that make any sense to you once they drag the tubs up to the top of the mountain? Aren't they too tired to have sex? <laughs> My favorite new advertisement for a drug on TV is that one for the antidepressant that causes you to commit suicide. Have you seen that one? <laughs> I think this drug might have left the laboratory a little bit too early. And Ambi and that sleeping pill studies have shown people have walked in their sleep, talked in their sleep, cooked in their sleep, and cleaned in their sleep. I am gonna take that sleeping pill. I need to get more done. <laughs> and sex after 60 can be quite challenging. Between my bad back and his bad knees, it hurts and feels good at the same time. <laughs> That's not to say we're not highly experimental because we are. This year, yes. This year, we're going to attempt to achieve simultaneous colonoscopies. And she goes, all right, sir, just so you know, during this procedure, we're gonna be putting you under using propofol. I said, wait, wait a minute, propofol? Isn't that the shit that killed Michael Jackson? She goes, yes, yes it is. I go, what do you mean, yes, yes it is? Why are you so happy about this? They killed the biggest pop star of my lifetime, and you think it's just okay for me to take? She said, sir, Michael Jackson was having it improperly administered. I said, Michael Jackson was having many things improperly administered. <laughs> but wasn't this doctor's name Dr. Conrad Murray? Yes. Wasn't he a doctor? Yes. Well, what's your title? I'm an anesthesiologist. I said, look, I don't care what your zodiac sign is, all right? <laughs> I don't even know what month that is. She said, sir, my job is to make sure you go to sleep and wake up. I said, I said, that is a fine answer, and I will accept that. She goes, great, please lay on your side. I said, nah, nah, nah. Why, why, why I gotta lay on my side? I lay, I lay on my side, you knock me out, you lift up the dress, you flip up a butt cheek, you start stuffing me like a turkey. I'm not falling for this trick, lady. She said, sir, you need to lay on your sides. We're going to give you the propofol. You're going to pass out, and you're going to fall over. And when you fall over, you could hurt yourself. So to avoid any injury, you need to already start on your side. I said, that is a fair answer. She goes, great. So I lay on my side, but I tuck my ass real tight on the wall. And she goes, why don't you count down from five with us? And I go, all right. Five, four, three. Out cold. I don't know if any of you have been put under at the doctor, but... Uh, sir, have you been put under at the doctor? You're an older gentleman. I mean, not older, but you know, you're not these <laughs> kids, you know what I mean? What's your name? Sandeep. Sandeep. Uh, and, and how old are you, Sandeep? 48. 48, we're the same age. Um, 40, same shit. And have you been put under at the doctor? I got an endoscopy. You had an endo endoscopy. Endoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> you had the endoscopy. <laughs> and I had the endoscopy, so I think. Uh, And uh, do you know if they gave you propofol when, you, when they put you out? No. No. They gave you the cheap shit? <laughs> did they knock you out when they did it? No. No? All right, Sandeep, open wide. Ah! <laughs> really? You were awake? Yeah. Why didn't you spend the extra 10 bucks and get the <laughs> I, Is it even possible to do it when somebody's awake? Oh, my God. It's ironic because all the doctors in America are Indian. <laughs> and then in India, they're like, F we don't need all these fancy tricks. <laughs> Open wide, Sandeep. <laughs>